four favourites successful from the nine race program. In the first event, the young Pedro Stakes, the favourite was armchair rider at five to four, and your commentator is Brian Markovic. Sediment South, three wide, making up some ground. Then Dark Dreamer, followed by Magic Madge. Armchair ride, the favourites under pressure. He'll be five watt on the turn. At the moment, not going well. Neither is Lightning to Sir Rival, Evening Tyros and Trueburn. Around the turn, though, 220 metres out. Corfu straightens up three metres in front of Nick Wistar, who is flat, followed by Dark Dreamer. Magic Madge is held up, followed by Sediment's armchair ride, running home only fairly, followed by Lightning too. But Corfu, much improved. Corfu leads all the way, scores by five metres on the line to Dark Dreamer. Maybe Nick Wistar has run third and owes to... Corfu unextended to win the first at sixes from Dark Dreamer 33s and Nick Wistar at eights with armchair ride the favourite running fourth at five to four. In the second, the Mark of Venus stakes Satan Romeo the favourite at five to four. Racing. Beginning quite well was Flying Future with Vienna Chimes. Satan Romeo looking for the lead. And wide out, Lord Amber trying to head them all off. But Flying Future holds out Satan Romeo at the first turn. Lord Amber racing wide. In behind them came Vienna Chime, followed by on the outside, Gangel's Hanover. In behind them came Easy Mark, followed by Seek and Hanover racing wide. Then Paris Court. As Satan Romeo now heads off Flying Future in the back the first time. Tamara Valley second last and Major Lord is back at the tail. In the back the first time, Satan Romeo now crosses flying future by five metres from the rear now seek and Hanover three wide going forward Lord Amber racing fourth without cover back on the fence is Vienna Chime Gangel's Hanover on the outside of Easy Mark back in behind them Paris Court Tamara Valley second last and two metres away Major Lord 1250 metres out Satan Romeo given a breather after working the first 500 metres he's a sulky's length in front of seek and Hanover without cover two metres away third flying future the bolter Lord Amber racing fourth in the one out trail Vienna Chime Fifth on the inside. Gangel's Hanover, three back on the outside. He's had a nice run, followed by Easy Mark. Then Paris Court, second last to Murrah Valley, and Major Lord last. One circuit to go. Satan Romeo in front. He quickens up by three metres to seek in Hanover. A metre back on the fence is Flying Future. One out is Lord Amber. Vienna Chime racing three back on the fence out of the straight, followed by Gangel's Hanover. Easy Mark on the fence from Paris Court. Tamara Valley, second last, and four metres away, Major Lord. He's still last out of the straight. The final time and some 25 metres off the leader Satan Romeo entering the back it's still Satan Romeo on top by three metres to seek in Hanover he's had no luck a metre back on the fence flying future then Lord Amber followed by Vienna Chime Paris caught from the rear going forward three wide followed by Gangel's Hanover coming out in front of her in behind them came Easy Mark Major Lord going forward along with Tamara Valley they're packing up though 400 metres out Satan Romeo three metres in front of seek and Hanover's under pressure flying future back on the fence is locked up. Lord Amber not going well. Then Paris caught out wide followed by Vienna Chime and Easy Mark then Gangel's Hanover held up. Major Lord wide and Tamara Valley back at the tail. Satan Romeo though straightens up three metres in front of Seek and Hanover followed by Paris caught. Major Lord down the outside making ground. Satan Romeo two metres in front trying very hard. Paris caught with Major Lord on the outside. Satan Romeo though in front near the line and Satan Romeo has won by two and a half metres to Major Lord. Very tight for the third placing between Flying Future and also Seek and Hanover. Close up in the race, Vienna Chime, followed by Easy Mark, then Lord Amber, Gangel's Hanover, and last in was Tamara Valley. Favourite two, good for them in the second. Satan Romeo, five to four. Major Lord at seven to two, and Flying Future got third at 16 to one. Another favourite home in the third, the gentleman John Stakes, when Keystone Adios was successful at seven to four. Racing. The dark ones can't go early. On the outside, Lucky Spar of him began quickly with Super Rooster, Callus Trio, and Keystone Adios has caught five wide out of the straight and booting through. Karamar Kenny holds them all at bay. Glen Tucky there contacted the car of Lucky Spar for a stride or two. He's half out of his gear. The dark ones moves through on the fence, followed by our Sally Kunara Meadow, and Spare Bow is second last. In the back the first time, from one, Karamar Kenny leads Callus Trio. Keystone Adios planted wide and going forward now, looking for the lead as Callus Trio draws a metre in front of Karamar Kenny. Keystone Adios three wide going forward. Callus Trio now heads off in turn Karamar Kenny so Keystone Adios is now one off the fence. In behind them Glen Tucky racing fourth and one out. Lucky Spa the grey fifth on the fence followed by our Sally. The Dark Ones is four back on the fence followed by Spare Bow. He's racing third last on the outside as Keystone Adios now takes on Callus Trio around the turn of the thousand. Second last Kunara Meadow and ahead on the outside is Super Roo. 
Twister. Keystone Adios having no luck. He's sitting up outside Callus Trio with a circuit to go. And they're matching strides with Keystone Adios now heading off Callus Trio with one circuit to go. He draws four metres in front. He has worked though. In behind them, Glenn Tucky now working up to be third. Fourth on the fence is Karamar Kenny. Al Sally now one out with the trail, followed by Lucky Spa. Then Spare Bow. He's close enough if good enough. He's three back on the outside and going very easily, followed by the Dark Ones. Third last is Super Rooster and Kunara Meadow back on the fences last. Along the back of the 6.50, Keystone Adios, he's four metres in front of Glen Tucky, ahead back on the inside, Callus Trio. Al Sally racing fourth on the outside. Back in behind them, Karamar Kenny. Spare Bow about to go forward, followed by Lucky Spar and Super Rooster. The Dark One, second last one off the fence, and Kunara Meadow back at the tail. Keystone Adios, though, 4.50 metres out. He's five metres in front. Glen Tucky, the outside, he's under a lot of pressure. Al Sally, three wide, now going forward. Forward. Spare bow out four wide, making ground. In behind them, Callus Trio, followed by Karamar Kenny. Then Lucky Spa from Super Rooster to Dark Ones and Kunara Meadow. At the 250 around the turn, Keystone Adios straightens up four metres in front of our Sally, followed by Spare Bow. He's coming quickly on the outside. At the 120, Keystone Adios two metres in front. Spare Bow is grabbing him on the outside. Keystone Adios a neck in front. Spare Bow wearing him down on the outside. Keystone Adios and Spare Bow and Keystone Adios has one of the nose to spare bow. Four metres away third was our Sally. Glen Tucky and Kunara Meadow made ground from Lucky Spa to Dark Ones, Karamar Kenny, Kellis Trio and last in was Super Rooster. Pretty good performance by Keystone Adios to hold on and win by a half head at 7-4 to four in favourite from the 3-1 to one pop spare bow with our Sally at 33's running third. The welcome and buy stakes was the fourth and another favourite home, the long odds on chance Bronski beat. Racing. Tendency out wide, can't go with them. Mr. Gift away quickly. He's trying to head off Pacing Eros. Can't do so for the moment, though. Pacing Eros holding him out by three metres. The first turn is coming up. And now Mr. Gift takes over from Pacing Eros, who scrambled for a stride or two. Nicaredo works out to be third and Tendency going forward. Bronski beat third last on settling, followed by Natural Black. Willie Bray back on the fence as Nicaredo now heads off Mr. Gift. In turn, Tendency going forward. Back in the field there, half out of its gear. Blaze and Romeo dropped out to the tail. Willie Bray settles well back from 10 to Trap, who's second last with Val Rose and six metres away, Blaze and Romeo. Two circuits out in the straight. Nicaredo in front by five metres to Tendency. Mr. Gift racing third the fence and fourth on the outside, Natural Black. Bronski beat on his back, three back on the fence, pacing Eros. Ten to Trap is four back on the outside of Willie Bray. Second last, Blaze and Romeo. And ahead away, Val Rose. Out of the straight towards the back once again. And Nicaredo clear by four metres to Tendency. And they drop anchor. Third placing Mr. Gift and one out and racing fourth on the outside is Natural Black. In behind them, pacing Eros being covered up by Bronski beat. Then ten to Trap on the outside of Willie Bray. Val Rose is second last and ahead away back on the fence is Blaze and Romeo at the lap and a half mark and Nicaredo doing it comfortably by three metres to Tendency, sitting up second without cover. Mr. Gift racing third, the fence and fourth and one out is Natural Black. Bronski beat three back on the outside, coming off the back no more than 12 metres off the leader Nicaredo. In behind them came Pacing Eros, followed by Willie Bray. Ten the Trappers, four back on the outside and tracking Bronski beat. Valrose is second last and a metre back on the fence is Blaze and Romeo. They wheel around the turn for the bell, they're racing in pairs and and Nicaredo, he slackens off even further. He's two metres in front of Tendency the outside. Third placing Natural Black is covering up Mr. Gift on the fence. Then Bronski beat is now peeling three wide with a circuit to go. Back on the rail came Pacing Eros, followed by Tender Trap. Back in behind them, Val Rose, followed by Willie Bray. Angling one off the fence and four metres away, Blaze and Romeo. In the final circuit they head. Nicaredo quickens up, he's two metres in front of Tendency the outside. And Bronski beat now working up to the mouth three wide. Mr. Gift racing fourth on the fence. Natural Black is fifth on the outside. Tender Trap is now tracking. Bronski beat. Willie Bray coming one off the fence from Pacing Eros, Val Rose and Blaze and Romeo. At the 5.50, Nicaredo a metre in front of Tendency. Two metres away Bronski beat. He's going easily out three wide. In behind them came Natural Black followed by Mr. Gift. Then Tender Trap followed by Pacing Eros and Willie Bray. Then Val Rose and Blaze and Romeo. 
Tendency on the outside, joining Nicaredo on the turn. Four metres away, Bronski beat. He's about to be given full ball, followed by Mr. Gift and Natural Black. Then tend to trap out five wide from pacing Eros, Willie Bray, Val Rose and Blazing Romeo. Tendency got to Nicaredo at the top of the straight. Now Bronski beat, given full ball on the outside. He's got within a metre of Tendency with 80 metres to go. Tendency a neck in front. Bronski beat on the outside, overhauling him. Tendency just in front. Bronski beat doing a little bit the better. And he's got there, Bronski beat by a half neck to tendency a meter away third Nicaredo just in front of Mr. Gift then natural black followed by Blaze and Romeo tender trap in behind them pacing Eros from Val Rose and last in was Willie Bray well they got their Bronski beat but I don't think you'd want a repeat performance nine to four on tendency at sevens and Nicaredo third at 20 to one they were the first four from the valley we'll be back to take a look at the last five races after this short break Tonight, round three of the Australian Touring Car Championship from Sandown. Can Volvo make it one, two, three? And how will Fox Commodore go without drop driving? Catch all the action in round three of the Australian Touring Car Championship. Tonight at 10.40, presented by Goodyear on 7. The integration factor, only from NEC. Computers and communication equipment must integrate fully. So all NEC computers, printers, fax machines and PABXs work together and with other systems to multiply your business in your local office or around the world. And any NEC computers and equipment you buy in the future will integrate fully to the integration factor, NEC. Hey Joe, Brian needs a hand. Okay. Oh sure, I hope the owner's with SIO. Our oh, car insurance is all the same. SIO's different. The woman there explained why agreed value is better. Most companies only pay out market value. That's often much less. SIO make it so simple even you could understand it. Hey. Victorian, from Victoria, so the SIO. They're okay. Seven fantastic nights on the Gold Coast. Just $467 includes your airfares, accommodation, and return transfers. Call TAA or your travel agent for full details. After making the Mitsubishi Kanta not so squeezy, we weren't content to simply rest on our laurels. We designed a new Kanta with tougher suspension, a bigger payload and a choice of petrol, direct injection diesel, or gutsy new turbo power. We even gave it real big truck styling. The new Mitsubishi Kanta. So superior, it commands respect. Oh, your truck! Well, the punters might have started well at Mooney Valley, but they certainly came a cropper in race five, the free-for-all, when the favourite was Morgan at four to one on. Racing. Whirly Dream driven out hard early, trying to head off Ombre Garcon. Ken Tuck from one is trying to hold him out, it can't do so. In behind them came Pebble Hanover, followed by Henry Bruce. Back in behind them, Thorlow Bell. Morgan restrained early third last as Whirly Dream now crosses in his favourite role in front. In behind them came Haughty Lord. Morgan now second last out of the straight and four metres away, Game Prince. In the back the first time, Whirly Dream in front by four metres to Ken Tuck who's going forward. Back on the fence and racing third, Ombre Garcon. Working up to the one by one Pebble Hanover. Henry Bruce is fifth on the inside. Then Thorlow Bell, followed by Haughty Lord. Morgan second last and four metres away, Game Prince. At the 1300 and going swiftly in front, Whirly Dream. He's two metres to Kentuck without cover. Ombre Garcon racing third, fourth on the outside, Pebble Hanover. On his back in turn, Thorlow Bell. They were stable mates at one stage. Back in behind them, Henry Bruce now three back on the fence. Morgan racing four back on the outside under a double hold from Haughty Lord and five metres away, Game Prince on the rail. In the straight, a thousand to go. Ken
Ken Tuck on the outside now testing Whirly Dream and they're matching strides by four metres to Pebble Hanover. On the leader's back is Ombre Garcon. Henry Bruce locked up on the inside of Thorlow Bell. He's having a nice trail followed by Morgan on his back. Horty Law defences second last and one off the rail now and four metres away Game Prince. At the 800, Whirly Dream, he's a metre in front of Ken Tuck on the outside and they've gone quickly. Third placing Ombre Garcon, fourth on the outside Pebble Hanover. Henry Bruce racing fifth on the inside of Thorlow Bell, then Horty Lord, Morgan second last down the back, but no more than 12 metres off the leaders, and they have gone fairly quickly, and there's the favourite now going forward, Morgan out three wide, Thorlow Bell now comes out in front of him, and six metres away, Game Prince, at the 500, Whirly Dream two metres in front, Ken Tuck on the outside appears to have run his race, Pebble Hanover three wide, gets to second, going forward now, Morgan out four wide, he's starting to round them up quickly, followed by Henry Bruce jamming up in behind them, then Ombre Garcon, Thorlow Bell couldn't sprint when they did, Followed by Game Prince and Haughty Lord. Around the turn though at the 250. Whirly Dream straightens up six metres in front. Morgan out three wide and four wide is now coming out after him. Followed by Henry Bruce at the 120. Whirly Dream, he's got a handy break. He's four metres in front. Morgan the outsider slowly wearing him down. Followed by Henry Bruce. Whirly Dream in front near the line. Oh, he's pinched the prize. Whirly Dream, two metres to Morgan. Three metres away third was Henry Bruce. Then Ombre Garcon from Game Prince. And behind them Haughty Lord. Then Pebble Hanna. Over, and the last two in were Ken Tuck and Thorlow Bell. Well, the favourite ran on OK, but the post was too close. Whirly Dream at nine's upsetting the favourite Morgan at fours on and Henry Bruce at 25 to one. In